Oh, oh it's them. just so crucial to be able to speak to someone um, and to speak to other people with whom you're spending a lot of time. And we spend a lot of time in our workplaces. And if you, you can't have that openness with some of the people uh, with whom you're spending that time at work um, mm. about how you really feel or what's on your mind, then right. that makes it pretty tough. And that's yeah. what I mean when I say I've I found a more diverse workplace and particularly one that includes women to be better from a mental health point of view, because I think it does change the culture of the workplace in a way that makes it okay to um, speak a bit more openly and to have a bit greater sensitivity towards each other. That's been just my personal experience. Others might have a different experience. But the one thing that's clear to me is how important it is to be able to confide in people and, and speak about how you're really feeling. So just as an example, um, you know, I spent six years in the federal parliament in a senior role within the Rudd and Gillard governments. And Actually, in many respects, that's the worst workplace environment I've ever been in. Wow. Of course, it's incredibly competitive, mm. both within your own side of politics, and it's incredibly competitive against the other side of politics. Of and um, a single word out of place can end up in the media and harm your side of politics or mm. you personally in some way. Which is why we have to stick so to these ridiculous 10-second sound it, bites that exactly, just are meaningless. No one feels that they can come out and really say what they really think and yeah. what they really mean. It's a, it's a really constrained environment, mm. puts you in a kind of straitjacket and, you know, kind of really limits your individual expression and makes you suspicious about trusting other people, even those you know, in your own side of politics because someone's always looking for an angle to get up above you on the greasy pole, you know, yeah. to get to the top. It must be um, very anxiety-provoking. Oh, well, I, 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 even though I'd come from a pretty hardened experience in trade unions mm. for a long period of time where it, it is pretty combative, but in the unions there is a strong collective sense and yes. um, but there, that's not the case in Parliament, and that right. surprised me. Mm. And I had to think very carefully about who I could really trust to speak mm. to. And fortunately, I did have some close people with whom I could share what I really thought. For me, it's it's so important to my personal well-being uh, to be able to speak to people about what I'm really thinking and um, what I'm really experiencing and feeling. And I'm sure that must be the case for everyone or many others for, mm. um, you know so in that parliamentary environment I really only had three or four people I could speak to like that and um, who I knew I could trust and that they wouldn't you know betray my trust and mm. vice versa because for example you know we had that Rudd Gillard kind of clash going on all the time and a single word out of place would could lead to you being the center of the next story you know or combe you know dumps Rudd or Combe dumps Gillard or something like that. And yeah. yet you need to be able to talk because you're under a great degree of pressure. Um, we're all sleep deprived. Mm. And um, so it's very, very stressful, huge workloads. And you need to be able to connect with some other people. So, you know, I did have several close friends that I developed and I still have them now that I've been out of parliament for some years. Some of them are still in parliament. So, they're still able to talk to me and connect about how they're feeling and experiencing things in there at the moment. And they know that I understand what it's like. Um, and, and I think it's quite important for them to continue that um, relationship with me. But I, I think you can extrapolate that to so many different circumstances. You think about people, say, in rural areas, um, working in a largely isolated way, truck drivers, you know, where there's a lot of mental health issues mm -hmm. and a very stressful, demanding type of work, it's so crucial that they can connect. That, mm -hmm. That's fundamental to your mental health. And to be really open about it, I, I struggled from a mental health point of view while I was in parliament. I'd not really experienced that before. I'd had periods of anxiety and high stress, but um, in parliament, you know, I felt so isolated and I'd separated from my wife during that period of time. 
you know, and I've living in you know, motel rooms most of the time. You travel all the time, airports, taxis, cars, planes, motels. It's it can be quite alienating, and I really uh, struggled at times personally, and it it really elevated my awareness of mental health issues, and I had some pretty dark thoughts during that period that I found very difficult to cope with. And mm. It was a contributing factor to my leaving ultimately because really? I thought, yeah, yeah, I thought, oh, you know, for my own well-being, you know, I can't keep going with this. So I decided mm. there was a, com- you know, a complexity of reasons, but that was one of the factors. And, That's and a lot made, to go through to carry. It made me a lot more sensitive to what people experience. Mm. Just you sharing that with me right now, it helps me to put my life into perspective. A lot of the time, you know, of course, we've all got our own stresses. And I think that that is a really great example of where there's just listening to somebody as well. There's benefits going both ways. It feels great to actually just to share with someone, just to tell somebody. I mean, I don't want to tell you that that felt really great for you to share that with me. I'm sure you've shared that with a lot of other people before. I haven't actually, no. And and, I mean, you you couldn't do that at the time. Right. It would have been seen as weakness and (laughs) would have been used against me. And um, because, you know, I was seen as a possible contender as a future leader of the Labor Party. And unfortunately... Mm. um, Um, I felt that being open about some of the things I was experiencing would have potentially been used against me. That's what the environment's like. 